Good morning, everyone. I slept pretty good last night, except my ear is still clogged. I'm a little bit congested, as you can tell. I'm opening up a coffee maker I just picked up the other day. You know, while I was sick, I had to run out to Walmart to get some groceries and that because I ran out. And um, so I picked up a coffee maker because I want to try bulletproof coffee. I love coffee, but I have not been drinking it for a long time. I had a really expensive maker and it died on me. And when that happened, I just quit drinking coffee. And uh, I really want to drink coffee again. And being on a low carb diet, I want to try this uh, bulletproof coffee. So a lot of different ways to make this stuff. Um, but the one I'm going to try today just calls for regular coffee and uh, coconut oil or MCT which they didn't actually have at Walmart so I just went ahead and got the coconut oil apparently the MCT is better for you we'll try that another time and uh, Kerrygold butter so we're gonna put those things in I got my blender over here so we'll uh, we'll get this set up make this coffee toss that all in the blender and see how it tastes hopefully it's delicious Okay, there it is. Smells pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. It's 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 pretty frothy. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty frothy. It took away a lot of the heat when uh, when I put it in the blender. But I mean, it's not bad. It, it's good. And I'm used to putting like tons of sugar and cream in my coffee, which if I wanted to, I could still put heavy whipping cream in here. Um, but I don't think I'm even going to need to. I think it would make it a little bit too frothy. Not too shabby. Yeah, that is actually pretty tasty. I'm so glad I decided to try to make this. Let's kick back in here for a minute. We'll have some coffee and talk. As you noticed, probably, I'm wearing my Home Alone t-shirt. Ah, my favorite blankie here. This stuff definitely makes me wish I had some kind of a muffin or something. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, not to go back in time here. I know we're all glad to be in the new year. But for Christmas, I, I always get my kids uh, pajamas for Christmas Eve. Like when they were growing up, we always had one present on Christmas Eve. And it was always pajamas. So even though they're all grown and out of the house now, we still continue that. I still give them pajamas at Christmas. So this year, I bought everybody the exact same Home Alone pajamas, including my girlfriend and myself. And, you know, I was so looking forward to everybody being in all their pajamas and having a big group family picture. And, uh, you know, then I got sick and it just didn't happen. I still gave everybody their Home Alone pajamas, except for the little. I couldn't find any small enough for her, but they all did get their pajamas, and we will still take that picture once we make it to Virginia's uh, to have our actual Christmas. You know, we still have all of our gifts over at her house, everything that I got for the kids, everything that Virginia got for them, everything that they got for Virginia, and everything that my family got for her, that will all be going over there on... Uh, another date, you know, when nobody is sick and we can all sit around and, and actually enjoy Christmas, even though it will be far past the time. So Christmas was kind of a bust this year. You know, I didn't even put up a tree at my house for only the second time in my entire life because we always have Christmas at my girlfriend's now. That is a little buttery, I will say. So I may need to cut down on the butter a little bit, but it's still pretty tasty. So yeah, while we're on the subject of Christmas, what are some of your uh, Christmas traditions? What are some things you guys do every year at Christmas pretty much without fail? Like I said, we always do the pajamas. Um, we always watch Home Alone. That's I think it's our favorite Christmas movie 
between all of us. Anytime it's at the movie theater, we go to see it, and it was at the Lincoln Theater downtown in Maslin this year, so we went. That was fun. There's just, there's nothing like seeing some of these movies on the big screen in a the theater. And something like Home Alone, even though it is such an old movie now, when you see that movie in the theater, everybody is just rolling laughing. It's it's unbelievable, you know? you know, Everybody knows what's gonna happen, unless it's like little kids who are experiencing it for the first time. But the whole theater is always packed, and everybody's always laughing. It's always crazy. You always put so much into Christmas, and building up to it, and, and shopping, and wrapping presents and everything, and you're so exhausted by the time it gets here, and then when it's over, you are so glad that it's over. I think that's pretty much how everybody feels about it. I know that's how I feel about it, but even at that, the minute it's over, I'm ready to start preparing for next year. I'm looking at next year thinking, what can I do better next year that I wasn't able to accomplish this year. And one of the things I do a lot of times, and since I was sick I didn't get out to do it this year, but I will hit like Walmart and Target for their clearance sales of Christmas merchandise. And really what I'm looking for is not things like the big trees and things like that unless I need one, but I'm looking more for wrapping paper and boxes and tape and uh, ribbons and bows and decorative things like that. Because to me, when it comes down to Christmas and birthdays, that is the biggest waste of money right there, is what you spend on the wrapping paper and the bows and everything, because it just gets ripped off, the boxes get torn up, it all goes in the trash, and that's just money down the drain. So if you can pay 75 to 90% less for that stuff right now, stick it in the attic and have it for next year. That's just, that's the best way to go. So, all right, guys, that's what's on my mind this morning. <sighs> the Bulletproof Coffee is delicious. I definitely have to figure out some kind of a little uh, low-carb muffin or something to go with this, but this is definitely going to be an everyday thing now. So, guys, wherever you're at, wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is that you're watching this, remember to make the best of your day, do something for somebody else, do something to pay it forward, and let's try to make this world a better place. Remember to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Go on Facebook and like the Facebook page. It's called That Nate Guys and Gals. I probably should come up with a better name for it. That just kind of sounds weird. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because I have a lot of stuff coming up this year. I'm going to go finish my coffee and get dressed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.